as she said, she gets what she wants. I do kind of miss just the wholesomeness of how's it going everyone welcome or welcome back to real night my name is Jabril and today we're going to be diving back into Dexter with season two episode number seven Dexter and Rita's relationship has now officially ended for now I don't know if this is going to be the last that we see of her but I know for a fact that she was extremely hurt at the end of last episode Lila is now stepping into that role and I'm not necessarily mad about that just because Lila knows a lot more about Dexter than Rita ever did, and she seems to want what's best for him and want to help him, but on that same note, she is pushing him to do a lot of crazy stuff, so I'm not sure if that's going to be the best in the long run. Dexter has successfully deleted the recording, maybe threw Lundy off the trail, maybe made him more suspicious. I really hope he got the right one. And Dokes is now back on the trail and it seems that his efforts are redoubled. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on this video. Alright, enough talk. Let's roll. Use the entire canvas. Don't tell me they're doing like some body art. Try longer strokes now. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I expected it to be a little bit more artistic than this. Expecting them to be like sprawled out over a canvas or something, just paint all over them. <laughs> you must have some dark fantasies. Yeah, as I said in the intro. She is just going to push him further and further, I think. Your light's burned out. It's the wiring. I've been asking my landlord to fix it for weeks. <laughs> well, now I can see better. Got to admire Lila for taking things into her own hands. That includes me. Extremely stark contrast from how Dexter was season one when it came to physical interactions. The only way you're gonna get over Dexter is if you take charge of your day. You're not in high school anymore. Go scrub your face and I'll heat up some oatmeal. She's treating her like she's still in high school. <laughs> Didn't hear you come in last night. I was quiet. You and Rita, Snitch. quiet too. And she's off right out of the gate. Me, I wake the goddamn dead. It's a problem. Yeah, mistakable for a treadmill apparently. We broke up. When all this blows over, I'll spend a few days at Gabriel's. And you can screw Rita as loud as you want. Big news, Dex. Whoa, I feel like I got caught in a wave. The Miami Tribune received a 32-page manifesto in the mail. The manifesto includes the names of three victims we never released to the press. More copycats. I sent that manifesto to the Tribune. Oh, wow. Guess I've been taking some cues from Lila lately. I'm tired of reacting to the moves of Agent Lundy and his super posse. Interesting. Who called in the body? Uh, Craig Wilson, the stepfather. He's right over there. You and Dexter resolve your issues? As far as I'm concerned, why? The bitch come crying to you again? No. Uh, I won't say anything to hurt the little girl's feelings. God damn it, James. I'm not joking. Do I look like I'm laughing? No. I don't. I wish you would. You used to. Bullshit. I never laughed. <laughs> Probably count on, like, one hand how many times Stokes has laughed in this. <laughs> I present to you the number of the day is... If you even look at him wrong, I will not be responsible for the fallout. You got it? I got it. How are you, Camilla? I've been better. Sergeant Dokes dropped by my file room yesterday. He requested the case files for the 1973 shipping yard murders. He scared me, Dexter. Yeah, there's no way Dokes is backing down this easy. I'm retiring next year, did I tell you? You won't lose your retirement. I won't let that out. He won't back off till he exposes the twisted branches of my family tree. From my father's indiscretions to my murderous brother. To the root of all evil, me. <laughs> I really just love how chill Lundy is, <laughs> you know? Eating animal crackers, you know, during interrogations. Listening to some jazz, looking at dead bodies. <laughs> Look at that board. Fluidity. Even some improvisation. Got any Chopin? Chopin's perfect. The truth speaks to me from a peaceful place. Gotta set the stage to hear it. You gotta get all the pieces right to get into that flow state. I didn't kill her. No forceful impact spatter. He's telling the truth, I can tell. Blood misting. Morgan! Would the misting just symbolize, you know, somebody who was there for the actual impact of the attack? A blood mist. The kind comes from beating on a teenage girl? No. Yes. It's too fine for a bludgeoning. The mist is from a bludgeoning. Just make sure you give me your blood report as soon as possible. You're just trying to stay on his good side? Or I guess maybe sabotage him? This is my chance to make Dokes go away without spilling a single drop of his blood. I'm afraid we just can't see you tonight without a reservation. As you can see, we are completely at capacity. 
Well, it kind of looks a little bit like Reese Witherspoon. Just a little bit. This is the place where Dexter proposed to me. He told me to make a wish, and when I looked down, there was my diamond ring. That is so romantic. It's been about weeks since we've even discussed your recovery. I'm finally in control of things again. Again? Probably like one of the first times he's ever been in control. I believe that we found a true substitute for your addiction. Like Happy anniversary. On the house. Thank you. She's got finesse. <laughs> Here's to ten more glorious years of whatever the hell I want. Hi. Used to see in Dexter's car in that shot. Cody, you need to take this seriously. Dexter said it should be fun. Dexter does drugs. He's <laughs> Okay, why don't you guys go get ready for bed? Uh Really, mom, I just got home. They need their rest. Mm. Yeah, her mom is sliding in and trying to, like, take stuff over. Yeah, if Rita doesn't like the way she was raised, she needs to, like, lay down the law. Our goal for the next 48 hours is to wade through this shining piece of social commentary. First impressions. I got something. There are a lot of literary references in this document. How do you know? I like to read books. Yeah, and he knows them personally, so he probably added a lot of stuff in here that they would personally find just to throw them off the case. And finally, he says, I think I'm ready. I'm like, I'm ready for what? And he says, Can she even hear him? <laughs> because you want to beat up your mom? He's like, Man. Oh, she's listening to Chopin. Really going full tilt into taking Lundy on as a role model. What the fuck? That's exactly how it is at the gym. If you're listening to like some bangers, take your headphones off. One of like Drake's weakest songs. <laughs> Who the f are you? Who is this gang? And are you trying to f her or set her on fire? <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of candles. How could you do this to Rita, not to mention her kids? You fucked up, Dex. Yeah, I did love Dexter and Rita's relationship, but again, it really was based on a lot of lies. She would not be able to handle the legitimate Dexter. I'm gonna break that cocksucker today. I'd like to see the blood report. You'll get it as soon as I do. They're still playing my tune. It's like I'm conducting a final symphony. Requiem for demonic Dexter. I hope he didn't provide any actual clues in there. Anything you want to talk about? Well, if you change your mind. It's my brother. <laughs> I'm just pissed at Dexter. Not to mention my boyfriend who did absolutely nothing wrong. You've been listening to Chopin. Does Chopin have that effect on people? <laughs> Why are we questioning that guy? He's a murder suspect. No, he's not. He's innocent. Yeah, that little conversation was kind of off the record, so... You turned in the blood report? When? I don't know. At some point before I went home last night. He's playing chess here. Did you even check the blood report? I didn't get the blood report. It's on your desk, and it exonerates your suspect. Maria, that is not what he told me. Motherfucker. He's good. <laughs> yeah, it makes him look crazy. <laughs> This is about the poor judgment. You have been displayed in this department for months. You want to work out? She needs to chill with the show pen. <laughs> it's ruining her relationship. I think I want to break up. Smoking hot and fun and age appropriate. Sometimes the truth speaks from a peaceful place. Why the grouchiness? It's feeling guilt. Losing Rita, the kids, they've been the only thing keeping me human. Your friends and family have to accept you for who you're evolving into now that you're clean. I don't feel that way at all. I wish I could. Schnitzel! No. She really just like feeds him, feeds him what he wants to hear. Couldn't tell you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's getting him to do a lot of crazy stuff. And it is not good at all. Like, really just, like, breaking into somebody's house and doing this? You're leaving your DNA all over the place. I'm some old bitch. Better not press our luck. We should go. Can you come to my school tomorrow? I'm doing my cultural report. I do kind of miss just the wholesomeness of Dexter and the kids and Rita. It was like a nice family, you know? His relationship with Lila... While built on honesty, is definitely feral and super physical. Didn't really get that with Rita, but... And when, and when there was that physical relationship with Rita, it was pretty loving, you know? Rita's son, he wants me to come see him at school tomorrow. I think I'll go. 
Cody is being punished for sneaking away to make a phone call without... Dexter. The boy was trying to invite him to his school. Can you imagine? Yeah, Rita's mom has no context. <laughs> She's been here for barely any time and she thinks she knows everything. Yeah, I finally get it. Took me a few decades, but it's not just me. Nobody can deal with you. <laughs> just look at you. First Paul, then Dexter. Rita, you lack even common sense. And now you're passing that torch of... Shut the fuck up. Exactly. So disrespectful. You're sitting in her house right now, living here? Rita, here's what's gonna happen. First thing in the morning, you're gonna pack up and go home. You'll come and visit us for birthdays and holidays. You're not gonna live with us anymore. That's what I'm talking about, Rita. Lay down the law. Love to see it. Our guy has a narcissistic personality disorder, a classic god complex. I think you're onto something, Angel. I just pulled from various blogs on the internet, mixed and matched. <laughs> Presto manifesto. You finally decided to fight back. I've been waiting. <laughs> Always waiting. Unlike you, I do everything out in the open. No matter what you try, no matter when, no matter how hard you work, I'll always be a step ahead of you for one simple reason. I own you. Uh. Holy shit. Talk about a god complex. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Dokes wanted everything out in the open. Here we are. Type a statement that Sergeant Dokes is on administrative leave pending an internal affairs investigation. What the hell happened? I don't know. He just jumped me. I think Dokes is a lot more dangerous without a badge than with one. Now he has no restrictions on him. Nobody watching him, watching his moves, and no job. So he can spend all his time hunting Dexter. <laughs> it's a good spot. For what? It's one o'clock. <laughs> wow, just adapting all of his habits. When I'm alone and it's quiet, I get scared. So if it's all the same to you, maybe I can just practice when you're around. Because when you're around, I kind of feel like I can deal with anything. You give me strength. You raise me up so I can stand on my What do you want me to say? My hair isn't getting any thicker. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> she really does have a thing for him. I think it's just those daddy issues. <laughs> wow. Dexter, over here. We saved you a seat. Thanks, guys. I'm happy we're still getting some of those moments. And I'm glad Rita's cool with that too. Like, I'm sure she's still really hurt, but. Nothing like her in the morning. Crawl right back into it. This is what he wants. What's that? Confusion. Chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. The killer's making us chase our tails. You know what that means? Yeah. Dexter gave them a major clue. It's right, Saudi Arabia. Arabic coffee is very famous. I'm a little confused. Lila is the one showing me how to get my life clean. But it's also in this her way. This is the first time since I went into recovery that I actually feel clean. The children inside. As she said, she gets what she wants. And I don't think Dexter's off limits in that case. Is she ruining her commission? So women can do more things? What about other religions? Thank you very much. She's burning down like her whole apartment building? Don't tell me she's about to off herself. Can Dexter come for ice cream with us? Sure, Dexter can join us. I wouldn't miss it. Maybe they'll have some delicious Saudi flavors like sand or oil. See, a stark contrast with Paul. Okay, okay, I'm coming now. Rita, it's an emergency. Look, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm gonna make it up to you, but I gotta help a friend who's in trouble. There was a fire. What happened? Her way of getting his attention and his care. With the blowtorch and it just caught fire, I was so scared. So? All right, we're seeing a new side to her. <laughs> In the span of an episode, I don't think I'm down for this anymore. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I said sadistic when I was talking about Paul, but... She is a different type. She's a snake. Thought she wanted what was best for him, but... 
her true colors are starting to show. I really just love it when a show breaks my expectations. <laughs> I really felt it when Dexter said that he felt dirty because in this episode specifically, they really turned up the heat on the almost like animalistic kind of nature of Lila and Dexter's relationship and just the spontaneity, but not really the good type of spontaneity, <laughs> criminal spontaneity. It really made me miss like the wholesomeness of Dexter and Rita's relationship as well as Dexter's relationship with the kids. You know, they did get physical every once in a while, but it was, it was not as, how do I describe it? Like in your face, I guess, as Lila and Dexter is like, Lila being in the apartment, just like walking around naked, <laughs> Deb comes in. It was just, we really saw a new side of Lila in this episode. When we started out, it felt like she had Dexter's best interest at heart, but now we see that she's a snake. <laughs> it kind of takes me back two episodes ago when that red light came in, when Dexter mentioned his problems with Rita and their relationship. I don't think that that was an accident now, like really looking back on that. As far as the investigation and dokes go, Dexter is playing a game of chess here. It seems like he made all the right moves to get dokes knocked off the force. I don't think that's gonna stop dokes from investigating. It's probably just gonna push him to want to investigate Dexter even more. And now he has a vendetta, you know, he got him kicked off. He headbutted him, <laughs> so. Yeah, he's definitely gonna have it out for Dexter. But it doesn't seem like his moves have yielded the same fruit with the investigation, mm -hmm. the task force, and Lundy. He's just probably given them a key piece of evidence unwittingly. I don't know if that was part of Dexter's plan, but he did it. I mean, it's his fault. <laughs> and maybe partially Lila, because he did say that you know, it was because of her and the changes that she's been helping him make that he did this. Speaking of Lundy, Deb shooting her shot, you know? I was expecting something like a, a mentor relationship, but then she gave him that kiss laced with daddy issues. <laughs> I'm not sure how far it's gonna go. To me, it feels like a bit of just infatuation and the fact that she feels something that she hasn't felt in so long. And she did mention that you know, Lundy is kind of like her dad. Her dad didn't give her attention, but Lundy is giving that attention that she never got from Harry. So I don't know if she's a little bit mixed up here or how far we're going to take this, but <laughs> that definitely got me off guard. Thank you all for watching with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you leave a like, leave a comment down below with your favorite part of the episode, any fun facts you may know, or if I missed anything, made a totally idiotic mistake. <laughs> like I did that last time, just let me know. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just so that you never miss a video, and I'll see you all on the next one.